stretch. Democratic, or Democrat rather, Randy Hoke taking on Republican Stefan Mahailu. Reporter Ali Tui sat down with both candidates to see what's at stake here and why they're running. I'm also running for public office. If you haven't already, meet Democrat and Working Families Party candidate Randy Hoke. Hello. Hey, David, it's Stefan Mahailu. And Republican and conservative candidate Stefan Mahailu. Both are running for Hamburg town supervisor. With a population of about 60,000 people, it's the fourth largest town in Erie County. We caught up with Hoke at his cousin's restaurant along Route 5 in Hamburg. I like bringing people together. I like working on collaborative projects. And I think that's what Hamburg needs right now in a leader. Mahailu was busy calling voters the day we sat down with him. I feel as though I can make a difference in Hamburg when it comes to cutting taxes, fully funding police, and implementing term limits. Mahailu, who is currently the Erie County Comptroller, calls Hoke a radical socialist, an extremist. He sent out a handful of mailers in recent weeks saying Hoke's socialist agenda will destroy Hamburg. I would never, ever sign my name to represent the Working Families Party because their mission is to defund police. And anyone who is representing that party represents that party's ideals. I'm not radical. Um, I'm not a socialist. I'm certainly not an extremist. I'm a guy from Hamburg. I'm a coach. I'm a dad. I don't agree with everything that the working family parties uh, supports. Uh, I don't agree with everything that the Democratic Party supports. Can you point to an example where your views are different from the Working Families Party? The Working Families Party has been a vocal proponent of police reform using the phrase defund the police. And I do not believe that the police should be defunded. Hamburg has a long history of supporting our police department, and that won't change under my administration. I'm excited about the opportunity. Yeah. Hoke has lived in Hamburg his entire life. He's worked for AARP and most recently for Erie County as an assistant to the social services director. Hoke says one of his priorities would be redeveloping the McKinley Mall, which has lost several anchor tenants. I'd like to see a mix of retail residential property to provide some opportunity for housing for, for seniors and other folks uh, in what's a, a great part of our town. It is downright scary that radical socialists want to basically push their agenda on a private business and dictate to them how they grow. I want to be their partner not put up restrictions or be punitive. Meantime, Hoke is calling on Mahailu to reject support from Roseanne DePizio, the developer whose proposed asphalt plant on Camp Road in 2019 was widely opposed by the town. Taxpayers, though, didn't want an asphalt plant. She was the developer, correct? Can you ensure that that would be a project you still wouldn't support moving forward? Well, it's not even an issue. The town's already decided, and it's not even you an issue. You bring it back up again. As far as my knowledge, I mean, that would start with the planning board and it's a dead issue because the town's already decided on it. Hope does have voter enrollment on his side. In the town of Hamburg, there are roughly 17,000 registered Democrats compared to 12,000 registered Republicans. But even that is no guarantee. Remember, Mahailu has won countywide office twice in Erie County, where Democrats outnumber Republicans by nearly two to one. Reporting in Hamburg, Ali Tui, 7 Eyewitness News.